it's it's like uh, if you don't have inspiration, and like you know, regardless of what you're going to try to do, um, inspiration, ideas, concepts, dreams, environment, all these things like they sort of meld together. I really like, like I was saying earlier, I like the people. I just generally, like, uh, you know, I've made some of the best friends here. I was, before I was in the art business, but I was not selling my art now. Basically, that's all I'm selling. And, you know, I'm much happier, you know. It's really uh, evolved like over the years. I started out using house paint and then I gradually evolved into uh, using oil paints. Uh, you know, pretty good quality oil paint. And uh, now I've, you know, changed again to acrylics, which is what I've been doing here. And it's, you know, it's a lot easier to work with. I started working with acrylics really for the first time, like summer before last in San Miguel de Ande. I just, you know, I, I was, I wasn't actually painting, you know, paintings of any sort. I was just, I just had a sketchbook. So I just said, okay, I'm going to do one a day. And I sort of stuck to that. Process is like really difficult to talk about because, you know, um, it, I don't know, it's all interrelated with the concepts and the ideas and the, and the most important thing, color, for me. The studio tour is like huge now. I've done this ever since the beginning. I'm one of the three artists left that have done it since 2009. I've done this all nine years, but I always did it out of my studio at my house. But now this is going to be my, I'm going to have my country studio and I'm going to have my city studio. <laughs> the studio tour and this place and everything, it's like it's all, it's all integrated. And the studio tour is definitely, at least for now, like, you know, it's most important. Thank you.